Trying to find her a pillow to sit on. Shorty. <laughs> Ready? We're going to talk about our hair day. <laughs> our very first cupcake hair day. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Were you thirsty? Okay. Lately, I have been really into taking good care of our hair. hair. So we created Cupcake Hair Day! To have a little bit more fun as we learn more about our hair. Since this little lady is getting older and older mm -hmm. every day, I've talked about this many times before. Wanted to do better and learn for myself so that I can be a good teacher to them. So, what happens on Cupcake Hair Day is Mommy does my hair. And then I go to sleep, and in the morning, we get, we to get have cupcakes, cupcakes for breakfast! For breakfast. <laughs> you are so funny. Thank you. Thank you. And they tell you to do is pour the rest of it, really, and we just mix it all up. So you can start with pouring the water in. You're so funny. walk you through our hair routine. Ma'am, my whole thing in our home and in our school is I want to just make these moments as enjoyable as possible. And hair day can be a lot, a lot. And it often takes more than one day. So I thought that as she's getting older and I'm starting to do a little bit more things to her hair to take care of it as it gets longer and learning about her curls and learning with her about my own curls, I just thought it would be really good for us to just make it more of a thing. thing that I normally do is I need to take down her hair and detangle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Savannah actually has very fine hair and the fact that it's long and super curly. Um, I like to take my time when we detangle her hair to try to remove as many tangles as possible, as gently as possible. I just kind of start by pulling her curls apart. Then we add some moisture. We usually use coconut oil for the ends of her hair and the length of her hair and then I use castor oil on her scalp. Okay so I am taking the castor oil part in her scalp very roughly and putting it onto her scalp so I can massage it. Half is oiled and detangled. <laughs> Go girl, go girl, get it girl. I let that sit in for a little bit and we had to go and wash her hair. Um, after I put the oil treatment in, I like to part it into two sections and loosely braid each side and then we go to wash her hair. I usually start with a conditioner right before I wash just to make sure that the shampoo is not gonna be too harsh on her hair. I go ahead and shampoo her hair while it's still in the braids on each side because I found that it helps it not to tangle while I'm washing. I really just focus the shampoo on her scalp and not like the length of her hair and certainly not the ends of her hair because I just want to get her scalp nice and clean. So we start there and then we rinse a few times. After we finish shampooing her hair, then I go in with the deep treatment. <laughs> So, so the this deep has been treatment. New. I get the deep conditioner all nice and um You're so cute. <laughs> 
I make sure I make sure I get the deep conditioner all over her hair. And then what do we do? So we got what do we so do? So we put the blow dryer in a tube connected to this thing that goes on your head. A yes, cap. Right. There's a strap and you put it on your head so the cap doesn't come off. Right. And then you put the cap on your head and you turn it on. Right. And then all the air gathers up in my cap and it goes <laughs> do that for about 15 to 20 minutes and then we head to the shower to rinse it out. Savannah, stop! <laughs> stop! We're trying to focus on the cupcakes. Okay. 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 This is my deep treatment. My mommy put the blow dryer in this tube and the air comes and it makes the thing all poppy. <laughs> you like it? <laughs> nice and moisturized. So we're going to go rinse this out now. Then we're going to style it. After we finish the deep tree. No, no, then we style it, then I go outside yeah, I it out. to dry. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to tell them. After we finish the deep conditioner, then we go and rinse it out thoroughly, and then we get on to styling. I hardly ever use a comb on her anymore because I want to make sure that I'm nice and gentle on her curls. So I use my fingers and just kind of finger rake um, the product into her hair. We use the lock method, which is liquid, oil, and cream, and then I use a gel. So the liquid is the water, the oil, coconut oil, and then after I add the coconut oil, then we do a cream, which this time around was Camille Rose, what's it called, butter pomade? Oh, it smells so yummy. What does it smell like? Cupcakes! <laughs> Cupcakes. And then the last thing that I do is mm -hmm. use a gel. And in this case, for her, I use Miss Jessie's Pillow Soft Curls, which makes her hair so soft and it smells so yummy. Her hair is all nice and super clean and really moisturized. Now we are going to add a little bit of extra moisture. All right, so we're going to use this Camille Rose curly moisture butter because Savannah loves this when it smells like cupcakes and then we are going to use a little bit of um, coconut oil and then finally we're going to use the Miss Jessie's Jelly Soft Curls because we love this one. My sweet girl is done now, so she's going to head outside with her brothers. And that way it is going to be able to air dry a bit before I put it in some type of twist before bed. So her girls get to breathe outside with her brothers a little bit and air dry. <laughs> when she comes back in, I will twist it up before bed. Cupcakes for breakfast. <laughs> a cupcake party <laughs> to celebrate her being so good. Getting so big, mama. My curly hair girl. After I do that last step, then she is free to go and air dry a bit. The warmer weather is really nice because normally I just let her go outside and play just so that her hair can go ahead and air dry. Then what do we do? For bedtime, I um, just... She, she just um, um, puts it into two buns and then I go to sleep. But I normally like one bun in the bag because I lay like this and my other bun will be like... Stop. No! <laughs> what? Boop, stop. <laughs> That's what it's like. It will be like, boop, stop. Okay, okay, okay. So that is Focus. really not comfortable. It's not comfortable. Focus. Okay. So, while she's learned about her curls, uh, one thing that has been major important to me has been to learn about mine as well. I have natural hair, but I've always kept it um, straightened. And so lately, what I have been doing is not putting heat to it. Currently have my hair straightened and curled a little bit because tomorrow's my anniversary and I want to take a few pictures with my boo. But other than that, I have been trying to focus on caring for my hair by moisturizing it and keeping it heat free. But I love learning about my curls. Her brothers 
are being silly in the background. I have been loving learning about my curls right along with this little cutie. Because it's important for us to take care of what we've been given. No matter our curl pattern or texture or length. That is the goal here, right? So, you ready to have these cupcakes, boo? Yes. <laughs> I did. Ooh. Which one's mine? This one's mine. Oh, <laughs> 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 